Someone somewhere once suggested that whatever men can do, women too can. And this has been the trend in the world where women are seen to have taken on the role of men in building society. Uganda is not an exception to this indication with about 35% of its legislators being female, including the speaker. According to vanguards of development, this is a step in the right direction. And you heard that the women defeated men in 18 districts. 18 constituencies in direct competition. This was a bit higher than last time when they had only 13 constituencies. Smartly dressed in the uniformed attire of the Ugandan security forces, these women in all manners of definition have been described as exemplary, not because they carry guns or put on smart and well-trimmed uniforms, but because they have dedicated their lives to serving the country. Police officers' wives from Naguru Police Barracks view this as women empowerment. We have gender balance whereby a woman can do what a man can do. I want to tell my fellow women from outside there that when they talk about gender equality, it doesn't mean disrespecting your husband. It means, in fact, working together. There's nothing which we, we, even myself, I can do what my husband do, does. Hajat Nusula Namtebi, a resident of Wankurukuku, says she was the first woman to work as a butcher, work which is mainly believed to be a reserve for men. Namtebi, who says she educated her children through proceeds from this venture, challenges women to work hard to complement their spouses' earnings. <laughs> However, to maintain the role of women in society goes hand in hand with living a responsible life. This is because of the challenging scourge of HIV AIDS, whose prevalence rate, according to recent statistics, is on the rise. President Yoweri Museveni was the chief celebrant at International Women's Day celebrations at Koloro Ceremonial Grounds in Kampala. I have seen that AIDS in some of the areas is going up. And these things they have been telling you will not help. What will help is behavior change as well as safe behavior. Women emancipation movements started in the early 1900s following the Second World War that saw men abandon their roles, hence being replaced by women. The movement has gone on and on to the extent that the role of women in society is recognized every 8th of March worldwide in the name of Women's Day. Henry Okrut, UBC.